Welcome to the social media account setup and practice session. So, what I'm going to do is, using Wordoid, generate a random brand and then check if it's available. If it's available, work it through, set up the different social media accounts. Now, at this point in time, the exercise is about can I make something? Can I generate something? I'm doing the random element here. Think of it as a training session. Think of it as improv for marketers. You're given a list of randomized names. You check that they are functionally workable. And then you go, what could we make around it? What does it sound? What does the word sound like as a brand? So our settings for Wordoid are going to be English, high quality. We won't put in a pattern. We'll give it about 11 characters and we will hide anything that's been taken. And whilst there are a couple of nice things on the screen there, I'm going to create another set. Okay. Well, that one, clearly someone's got some ideas. This looks like it could be the economics uh, theory of the day. It's taken. There is an existing brand, it's not worth pursuing. So this is your first step. You want now this the approach to it is select the word, double click the word, right mouse click, search Google for. And this is a habit you want to get into. You want to be fast on your Google searches. What this is now, so this the print aim, aim clearly has a meaning. So let's split up and have a look at this. What does the word Ain mean? It's an Irish goddess of summer, wealth, and sovereignty. Print Ain, the randomly generated brand, looks like it could well be the license to print money. So let's go back. Taking that also helps. I've got a Celtic background, so I don't actually feel like I'm, I'm crashing my own ancestry to use this. Now let's open up name check. So in name check, we're going to put in our core, which is print A. And let's have a look. Trademarks. There is nothing in the trademark category. Usernames. Well, the good news is the big ticket is open. Instagram. WordPress. Twitter is taken. So we now have to make a decision. So we know Twitter's taken. Let's go have a look at what's being done. Twitter's gone. So it looks like a viable option. We will now take, and we have domain names around it. So this is the one we're going to run with. So having selected now print A. One of the things that I will recommend that you do is always have access to the notepad function just as running notes. It's always so much easier to store, save, and I can't type, so making mistakes is always fun live. The notepad, a Word doc notepad at your disposal or whatever the Mac equivalent is, always available tool. You want to be able to just chuck down ideas and work with things because you're going to have to do some variation. You're going to have to make alternate versions of it where the account's taken. So let's go registering. First step. Now you've got a new account, you're going to need a new email. So we'll go out to Google, the little Google Apps option up here, go to my account, create a Google account. This is now, and I'm going to register me as me, which is going to be very strange, but we can always fix it later. I'm so grateful that is in, I'll just go never for this. It's your choice for those.
Hey, I'm not putting that up. Let's see how many of these things I can actually route past in a live cover. Can't leave the field empty. Well, now you know how old I am. So, step one, we now have a Gmail account. Now, the important thing about that is that you want to save this particular piece of information because this becomes a key to the next steps. You, and this is because we are generating a completely fresh and brand new brand. So now that we've got this, what we get next is that we are immediately able to use Google. We've got the Google Toolkits, we've got the whole Google platform at our disposal, including, now we have a Gmail account, we've got a YouTube account. So we sign in to get our YouTube account up and running. At least we try to. I'm waiting for it to tell me that I already exist. So we now have a YouTube account. First and ten. We have all the domains available at our disposal, and I'll go pick up one of those uh, a little bit later to go with this, but that's not part of what we're looking at today. Next step is now we have a Gmail account, we're going to pick up the Instagram account. Now, if you have an existing Facebook account, you would be able to do this as a platform. Because Facebook has a particular policy about uh, not creating false identities and it's got its rather annoying real name policy, I'm not going to create a fake Facebook account. So. Also, I don't want a Facebook account for this brand. I want a Facebook page, and we'll deal with those a bit later. So here, since we're taking the brand, I'll just clear that because I got that wrong. Yeah, made a mess of that. Yes. We're now on with we have an account. So immediately you're starting to see that there is a second setup phase that we're going to have to engage in and that is the creation of the graphics and the visual brand that's going to go around this particular platform. So our third step now is we want to take out the sign up at Twitter. And the other thing is that on the way through here is I have made mistakes in the sign up, I've misread fields. It's okay to get things wrong and it's okay to go, I didn't, yeah, that wasn't right, I didn't know quite what I was doing, and try it again, and read the instructions on the screen. Basically, you don't have to be perfect first time. You to Twitter, sign up now, full name, phone or email, do that first. And I would recommend switching that off initially, particularly if you, in this case we're creating a new brand, so it's not as useful. Welcome aboard to Twitter. It is going to ask for, now I will recommend to you that you do this. Personally, because I'm filming this, I'm not putting my own number in online, live. Now, the username has been taken, and they're not letting us recreate this. So what we can do 
as we've decided that this is a workable username. We can live with that. It's close to our brand, it's close to our other brands, or we could take, and this is a common practice, the official, there are various ways to rebrand. But we've had to do a rebrand because the, the username that we wanted wasn't immediately available. So, Twitter's going to give you a bunch of things that you need to set up with. Now, I'm assuming that uh, since we are basically naming this account brand of an Irish goddess of summer wealth and sovereignty, uh, this would be a really good time on Twitter to go health, fitness, fashion, beauty, summer, and that should give us a starting point. Now it's geolocated us, it's worked out where we are. Uh, for the sake of it, I'm going to just take the 40. You will want to select. Now the next thing you're going to need to do, again, you've got an image element here, so you've got to come back and make a decision on this. I'm going to skip this step initially because I want to get us through and I'm going to skip this step because it's a new brand. So what we now have is Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. The three basic platforms are in place. We have a Google account which gives us also login abilities. We have the capacity to sign in now to Google to do a set of interesting things. And this basically is your first opening number. You need to create these accounts, you need to get these running. Now if you're using your own identity or you have an existing brand, it's faster because you already have a bunch of the image decisions. So the second step to this will be coming back to look at the visual, a consistent visual platform across our new social media accounts.